Okay, let's go ahead and practice basic algebra. And what we're going to do here is solve this decimal equation. So don't let this uh, equation intimidate you just because it has decimals. Uh, remember, you can use your calculator. Uh, you know, you're going to be dealing with fractions, whole numbers, integers, and decimals in algebra. And again, feel free to use your calculator. The key, though, when it comes to using your calculator is not to use it on every single problem, especially when you have problems that involve fractions, etc. But in this particular case, definitely use a calculator to make your life a lot easier. And the objective is to solve for the unknown, which is the variable h. So if you think you could solve this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm actually going to show you the correct uh, answer in just one second, and then I'm going to walk through uh, the solution to this decimal equation step by step. This is not going to be that difficult. But uh, anyways, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades, and I'm going to tell you right now, all of you could be successful in math, and I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time with mathematics. Please do not give up, okay? There's absolutely hope, uh, not only for you to pass your class with like a passing grade, right? So if your goal right now is like, I just want to pass my class with a C or a C minus, I just don't want to fail. Listen, you need to change your goals to like, hey, I want to ace my class because all of you have that potential, okay? But here's the deal. What you need is great math instruction. So whoever you're learning math from or whatever you're uh, learning math from, you need to understand it. Math is a technical subject, and it can be very confusing. And the way I like to teach math is to explain things in, in an easy-to-understand way and language so everybody can get what's going on without watering down what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're getting ready for that involves mathematics, things like uh, the GED, SAT, maybe a teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different uh, math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description as well. You absolutely need a great pair, uh, great pair of math notes to study from. Okay, so if note taking has been optional for you, it's got to be a requirement, right? So you can use my notes in the meantime as you improve yours. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and uh, find this uh, solution. And uh, the level of math we're doing here would be something uh, you know you would see in a pre-algebra course, just out of curiosity, or, or some of you might be curious, like, hey, when do I learn this stuff? Well, you're going to learn this stuff in pre-algebra. You're definitely going to be doing this in Algebra 1 and beyond. If you happen to be taking pre-algebra, don't uh, this uh, the term or the description of this course is sometimes confusing to uh, students because it sounds like you're taking math that's before um, algebra, right? It's like it, this is the math we take pre or prior to taking algebra, but that is not the case. Pre-algebra is an actual uh, uh, algebra course. You are taking algebra. You're just kind of taking algebra and I like the light version of it, okay? When you get to algebra one, you kind of take the regular version of it. Pre-algebra is a light version of algebra. That's just kind of the way I kind of think about things. But anyways, let's take a look at the solution to this equation. So H is approximately 2.441. So if you got a decimal uh, pretty close to this, well, then I think you got this thing correct. So let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family how you solved a decimal equation. Okay, so nice job. Again, use a calculator. Don't torture yourself. There's going to be plenty of times in mathematics, especially in algebra, where you will not be able to use a calculator and you don't want to depend on your calculator. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't use a calculator and you don't need a calculator. You certainly do, okay? But you need to uh, have kind of um, a well-rounded uh, set of math skills where you can do math with and without a calculator. And, you know, even this particular problem, you could do it without a calculator, but that would be kind of torturous and that's not really the point. The point here is do you know the steps to solve this basic uh, linear equation. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So what we need to observe 
is that any time we have an equation and you see parentheses like this, and you have a sum or a difference, i.e. some a plus or a minus going on inside, and you have a number outside of a, a set of parentheses like this, this is a situation where we need to use the distributive property. Okay, that's uh, almost always going to be the first step that you need to take in, the in an equation that has parentheses and a number outside of this. So what we have to do is take this 0.23 and we need to multiply it by these inside terms, whatever's inside the uh, parentheses. So it's going to be 0.23 times this 1.7H and 0.23 times this 0 0.02. So we're going to go ahead and get our calculators out. So it's going to be 0.23 times 1.7. That's going to give us 0.391H. All right, so that's our first um, term right there. And then we're going to take that 0.23 and multiply it by this 0 .02, uh, 0 0.02. You're going to get 0 0.046, and that's going to be equal to 0.95. So that's the first step. And notice that um, I'm just doing this one step at a time. In other words, when you're solving an equation, how you're writing things out is critical. You do not do multiple steps at one, on one line, right? Don't try to save paper and be like, okay, I could do all these steps. I could do this in my brain. I'll do this in my calculator. No, show your work, take one logical step. And then once you take a step, take a deep breath and be like, okay, did I do this right? Double check. Okay. Yes, I did this. I'm multiplying this times this. Let me double check, make sure I didn't do anything wrong. If you're happy with your work, you know, kind of give yourself a mental check and then take the next step. Okay. So what is the next step? Well, when we're solving uh, basic equations in algebra, effectively what you want to do is get all your variables to the left and all your numbers to the right. So my variable term here, 0.39H, it's on the left-hand side of the equation, but I have this number over here, this 0 0.046. I want to get all my numbers to the right, so I'm going to want to move this over. So how can I move this 0 0.046? Really, this is a negative 0 0.046. It's on the left-hand side of the equation. I want to move it over to the other side. So what I can do is just get rid of it on the left-hand side. So how can I get rid of a number? Well, if this is a minus 0 0.046, if I add a point, uh, add a positive 0 0.046 to this negative 0 0.046. Both of these things are basically going to they're going to cancel each other out. It's going to become zero. But here is the main main idea in algebra: whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do it absolutely equally on the other side. It's uh, algebra solving algebra equations is like a balance scale. Okay, so here if you have like a little teeter totter or a scale and you have five pounds here and five pounds here, it's a perfect balance. If you decide to add two pounds here, well, guess what? You're out of balance, all right? It's going to be heavier. It's going to be seven over here and five. But I have some choices. I can be like, oh, well, to put this thing back in balance, I can either remove that two or I could just add a two over here, okay? And that would get back in balance. So uh, when you're solving algebra equations, that concept, you know, it's got to be foremost in your brain. It's okay, whatever did whatever I did to this this side of the equation, did I do the exact same thing over here? And why am I doing that? Because this negative point uh, zero zero four six, I think I said point zero four six. I apologize if I did, but this is negative point zero zero four six. When I um, add it to a point zero zero four six, this disappears, and now I have it on the other side. I'm keeping this in balance, so I'm having. All my numbers now on the right hand side. So let's just go ahead and add down in a column manner. So this 0.391H plus zero is uh, nothing more than 0.391H. These two numbers are going to become a zero. We don't need to write the zero, they basically disappear on the left hand side. So now we have to just take this 0.95, add it to 0 0.0046, and you get the decimal 0.9546. Okay, so you know, I'm really taking my time here. Uh, to make sure you thoroughly understand the principles involved. A lot of you are like, yeah, yeah, I get this. You know, hurry up. I, I, I understand what I'm going on. Da, 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 da. You know, here the, the, what I'm trying to do is teach you the underlying concepts so you, you truly understand the principles involved. Because once you understand all the principles involved, involved in one problem, you can carry those same principles over to, you know, any number of different problems, especially more challenging 
prompts. Okay, so now we have 0.391H is equal to 0.9546. So how do we solve for H? Easy, we're just going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by this 0.391. So we get our calculators out and we got 0.9546 divided by 0.391. And that's going to be approximately uh, 2.441. So that is what H is equal to. All right, so hopefully... Uh, this was pretty easy stuff. Now, if you're still kind of like uh, concerned about your ability to solve these type of equations, then you know you just need, need to kind of find the right starting point to learn algebra. Okay, so what would be the right starting point? Well, you want to make sure you understand the, the foundational concepts like the order of operations, fractions, positive, negative numbers, and you know basic one-step equations, etc. So if you need additional help with solving basic equations, let me give you a couple suggestions. One, I have a ton of different videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out, but I would probably steer you towards like my pre-algebra course if you really need like full-on complete instruction with basic algebra. Okay. All right, but hopefully this little video helped you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.